this is Jen with Making the Photo. And in this quick video, we're going to talk about resizing your AI generated images for printing. We're going to use an AI generated image from Midjourney. And we're going to look at first the upscaling options that Midjourney gives you. How big can you make this file? And then once we get to the limits of what Midjourney will do, we're going to take the file out of Midjourney and use some photo enlargement tools to make your image really as big as you want it to be. Here's the image that we're going to use for our demonstration today. The AI generated image is very, uh, has a lot of lines in it, it has a lot of detail in it with some textures and some flowers so we can kind of get a good idea of how uh, the image is going to look when it is expanded. If you're familiar with Midjourney, you know how the upscale feature works, at least as of now. This video is being recorded in August 2020, but remember we're using a beta version of the program, so these options can change in the future. But as of now, when you ask for an AI-generated image in Midjourney, you're given a grid of four different options. And from that, those you choose your favorite. In this case, I chose the bottom right-hand option and I asked Midjourney to upscale that image for me. Midjourney pulls the image out of the grid and gives me a 1024 by 1024 pixel image. I'd like to upscale that even further and make it a larger image, so I asked Midjourney to upscale to the max. And what it gave me was a file that was 1664 pixels by 1664. Recently, Midjourney gave us a new option to play with, Beta Upscale Redo. If you make that selection, you get a file that's larger than Upscale to the Max. The file measures 2048 pixels on each side. But if you'll notice in the side-by-side -side comparison, the Beta Upscale Redo also changes the look of the image. It smooths out a lot of the texture and makes it a lot cleaner. You may like that look, uh, but if you don't, then upscale to the max is the largest file you can make. So I have a file that is 1664 pixel square. But how large is that? How big can I print? Luckily, some online services have uh, a way of figuring out if you enter on this pixel chart, how many pixels, it will show you that for the best quality, you can print five inches by five inches. If you're willing to give up some quality, 12 by 12 is okay. Let's try the 2048 pixels that our larger beta gives us. And that lets us print up to 16 by 16. But I really need something that's more like 12 inches square. And to get that, I'm gonna have to do 36 100 pixel square. Let's start with our first tool, Adobe Photoshop. We're going to resize the image and preserve the details on enlargement. So if you go into your Photoshop and open image size, you'll see we have our 16 by 64 pixel um, size. You can easily change that to 3600 pixels, but we kind of want a printing resolution of 300 and that really changes the size. So do the resolution first and then do the 3600. Under resample, we're gonna preserve the details and then we can play a little bit with reducing the noise. If you notice any noise in this smaller magnified window, you can remove it here. There are some custom settings if you want to use those uh, to help you out. Notice those are all 300 DPI. When we hit okay, we've got a new image size. Our next tool is Topaz Gigapixel AI. This tool has different AI models and you can use Topaz Reduce Noise options as well. If you go into the program, you'll notice it's already working down here in the lower right, left hand corner. We're going to change our output width to 3600 pixels. And you'll notice underneath we've got some different AI models that we can play with. It's uh, working in the background. Notice the standard to updating uh, bar that gives you the progress. 
the uh, you can also go, uh, go down to the bottom and change some of your noise suppression and reduce blur. Uh, the only problem with Topaz is that it is a little bit uh, long. It, it makes great quality, but it does take some time. And now for the tool that I use, On One Photo Raw. This is a lesser known program than Photoshop, and they've had the resize as a plugin for a little while, but now it's included in their On One Photo Raw. But if you open the standalone program, you can easily change the width. The resolution's already at 300 here. And then I can go into the sharpening section and sharpen for screen or for print in this case. I can add some film grain if I want. Or if I'm doing extra uh, large prints, I can set it up to tile, so to print on different pages, or make a gallery wrap for a canvas. So there's a lot of versatility in On One Photo Raw, and it works really quickly uh, to process the image. So you hit save, and you uh, will have it saving the background for a little bit, but it is a little bit quicker than the Topaz product. So I made a cross section of each of these images and printed them out on glossy paper. And I didn't notice that much of a difference. The on one resize was a little sharper. The gigapixel AI uh, had a bit more noise reduction. And the Photoshop was quick and easy to use and gives okay quality. So I don't think you can go wrong with any of these tools. If you have another tool, I'd be very interested to know what it is. If you want to resize your AI generated images for printing, let me know and let me know how large you made it. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's go out and make some beautiful images.